15.4b, Rational Exponents Evaluate. To evaluate a rational exponent, make sure to start by converting it to a radical. Let's see how this applies in example one. Here we see we have 32 to the 2 fifths. Remember, the denominator is the index, which means that we have the fifth root of 32 and it's being squared. Let's start by finding the fifth root of 32. Remember that 32's prime factorization gives us 2 to the fifth. This means that we have the fifth root of two to the fifth, which we then square. The fifth root of two to the fifth is two, and two squared is four. This gives us our answer. Let's see this in example two. Here's example two. Let's start by moving it to the denominator because it's a negative exponent. This gives us one over 27 to the four thirds. Now we need to turn this into a radical, remembering that the denominator is our index. This gives us the cubed root of 27 to the fourth with a one. Now we do the cubed root of 27, remembering that 27 is three to the third. This gives us three to the fourth with a one because the cubed root of three to the third is three. Three to the fourth is 81, so this gives us our answer of one over 81. Remember, whenever you're trying to evaluate a rational exponent, to first convert it to a radical.